yeah. you examined him and performed a, a cognitive assessment. Right. What is your take of, of all the doctors and clinicians all across the country who have said that in this <clears throat> president they see symptoms of this, that, and the other? Symptoms in what way? Well, symptoms of dementia, uh, symptoms of... I would say that, you know, the American Psychiatric Association has said so too. You know, I think that, uh, you know, you, you, the people shouldn't be making those kinds of assessments about the president unless they've had the opportunity to get to know him and examine him. And, you know, in my opinion, that's just tabloid psychiatry, and I just don't, you know, I'm not going to address it or, or, or fall into, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, to responding to, to those kinds of uh, questions or accusations. How would you describe his diet before he became president? A lot's been said about too much McDonald's, too many burgers. Do you think it was problematic? To be honest with you, I have no idea. I've just had the same information you have. I didn't know the president before uh, January 20th, so I, I, I never saw him eat a meal before, the Jan before January 20th, so I have no, uh, no information on that. Thank you. Um, you, know, you said you're, you're not sure how much sleep he gets a night, but you assume it's between four to five hours. Does that concern you? Would you recommend him to try to get more sleep? I mean, sure, I think more sleep for all of us would be helpful, but it doesn't really concern me because I think it's, it's just his nature. I think he's always been that way, and uh, I just think that uh, it works for him. It wouldn't work for me, but it works for him. And so, uh, sure, if he could get more sleep, that'd be great, but I just don't think that, uh, uh, you know, that that's uh, likely to happen. That's just uh, the way he's wired.